Hi everyone. Today I want us to learn how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. First of all, given a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, we can solve this straight away by substituting in the quadratic formula which states x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Well, I want us to solve two equations using the formula. So the first equation is x squared minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 0. Our task here is to identify what a is. And of course, a is the coefficient of x squared, and for this case, coefficient of x squared is 1. b is negative 13, just as we have here. c is 42. So substituting, we'll say x is equal to, so let's have b in brackets, so we'll have negative b. So the value of b will substitute in that bracket plus or minus the square root of b squared, again b squared, minus 4a, let's a b in brackets, times c. And then we'll have to divide that by twice a. So the value of b we have as negative 13, so let's have negative 13 here, and here, the value of a here is 1, here 1, c is 42. Simplifying this further, we'll have negative by negative, that means we have positive 13 there, plus or minus the square root of, so negative 13 squared, that is positive 169, minus 4 times 1 times 42, that is 168. We'll have to divide that by 2 by 1, that is 2. So the value of x should be 13 plus or minus 169 minus 168, that is 1. Square root of 1 is 1 over 2. And then the first value of x becomes 13 plus 1, that is 14. 14 divided by 2, 7. And then the next value of x becomes... 13 minus 1, that is 12. 12 divided by 2, that is 6. Just as simple as that. The next question is, let's use quadratic formula to solve this. x squared plus 3x minus 10 is 0. Here we'll try to be fast a bit. So we say x is equal to b or rather negative b, so we have negative b, negative b, and b is 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, and that is 3 squared, minus 4 into a, and a is 1, coefficient of x squared, times c, and c is negative 10, all over 2 times 1, where 1 is the coefficient of x squared. So this simplifies to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, so this becomes 9. And this negative and negative will multiply so that we have plus, and then that is plus 40. We'll have to divide that by 2. So that x becomes negative 3 plus or minus, so this is 49, square root of 49 is 7, all over 2. The first value of x will be negative 3 plus 7, that is 4, divided by 2, and that is 2. The next value is negative 3 minus 7, that is negative 10, negative 10 divided by 2, that is negative 5. And finally, we have the values of x as 2 or x is negative 5.
And with that answer, we have come to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.